Let's go fishing. So, this trip wasn't super planned. I'm up here in Sacramento for a couple days this weekend for the Super Bowl. I decided I wanted to come out here to Folsom and do some fishing. Never fished this lake before. I don't really know what I'm doing out here, but uh, bought a couple moving baits and a jig rod. I'm gonna try to fish some points and uh, just bank beat. I'm hoping the fish have started moving up a little bit, uh, working on pre-spawn. There's a good chance that that hasn't happened yet. So if nothing else, I'm hoping to at least get on some spots somewhere. You know, spotted bass. Immediately snagged, seriously? First cast. Is that a joke? <sighs> yep, snapped off. Awesome. One more finesse to you, so. <sighs> no, we're not doing this. No, 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 absolutely not. Get out, get out, get out. Stop. Come on, dude. I just, it broke, it broke off. <sighs> Okay, so uh, I tried to get like a nice cinematic shot this morning of the sunrise, but um, obviously the clouds got in the way because uh, it's going to rain today while I'm out here, but um, we're going to do something that hasn't been popular on YouTube in like three years. Let's do an MTV slam. Yes. Let's see what we got. Alright, first up we got this Mayhem Bait Co. Thrust Minnow swim bait here. Guggen Clutch in like a ghost gill pattern. Biospawn exopods in black and blue. Excite Reflex Skipping Jig. 10,000 Fish Saw Craws. Guggen Squad. Gridiron Football Jig. Flat banger, blazing worm, Phoenix RTJ. There was a lot of Guggen in this box. So we got 10 baits. I think my chances of catching fish today are pretty low. Um, so I'm gonna pick five out of these. And I'm gonna do my best to catch a fish on all of them. So I'm gonna take this blazing worm for sure. I'm gonna go with the Excite Reflex uh, Skipping Jig. It's two baits. 
We'll see. I think I'm gonna take the exopods to power the jig. I think I'm gonna go with the lipless here. And then we're left between the 10,000 fish saw craw or the mayhem thrust swimmer. I think what I'm gonna do for this blazing worm is modify it a little bit because this is kind of a big presentation and I'm at tiny ponds right now. I'll show you in a minute. But I think what I'm gonna do is actually take the tail off of it and fish it like a stick bait. A uh, wacky rig. We got, I think, okay, what do we got? We got the stick bait, the lipless crank, and then we have the jig and the exopod comboed up. So this is four of the baits. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the wacky just because I think it's most likely to get bit. So, let's give it a shot. I actually got a fish. Come here. No! No! No, dude. How did it come off? That's a fish. There we go. There we go. Get in here. Get in here. Come here. Yes. There we go. There is bait number one. Oh, yes. That feels so good. All right, one bait down. We got four to go. I'm probably gonna keep fishing with the crank at some point today, because I do think it's gonna get me bites. But um, for now, I'm gonna swap over back to the stick bait. I think for the sake of variety, I should go with the other swim bait. It is a pretty big bait, but it's not any bigger than... There's some huge bluegill in these ponds. And that's probably like the main forage for the bass in here. So I'm gonna go with that. These swim baits come with this like, it's called liquid mayhem. And I guess it's like a, a scent stick or something, or a scent like tube. So I can either go with this. That hook point is really dull. <laughs> On two. Let's see what we can do here. This water is usually like muddy brown. So seeing it this clear is actually pretty nice. I mean Got one on the swim bait. Come here. Stay down, stay down. Flip. Yes. Right in the corner. 
That's so nice. That is a solid fish for this little pond. That's like two pounds probably right there. On the swim bait with the underspin. Let's get this guy released. Two baits down, three to go. Let's do it. Okay, I need two more baits to finish the challenge. I'm putting down the wacky rig. I think they see that presentation too much and they're just not interested. So I put that uh, Guggen worm on a weightless Texas rig uh, and left the tail on this time for that extra action. And then I still have to catch one on a jig. Hopefully we can get it done. Let's keep fishing. Okay. It's cold. I'm tired and soaked and hungry. And the fish have stopped biting. So I think it's time to call it quits. I got two baits down. So obviously I lost the challenge. But to be honest, I did better than I thought I was going to. I didn't really think I was gonna catch anything out here. Uh, not because there's no fish, it's just, I think these fish get pressured so hard because it's right in the middle of the city, these ponds. But I'm pretty happy with that performance. Maybe I'll try to complete the challenge at some point soon, but um, for now, that's gonna have to do it. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want to buy one of my lures, I know that wasn't part of this video. But uh, in the description, there's a link to my Etsy shop. You can either buy something off of there if you want to, or you can contact me on Instagram. There's also a link to that in the description where you can commission a bait from me. And with that, I'll see you next time.